What's the most dangerous tractor attachment? Well, in my view, it's the front end loader. Now, I'm not anti front end loader. In fact, I can't even imagine not having one. So why do I think it's the most dangerous attachment? Well, let's first look at some statistics from the National Ag Safety Database. Tractors account for 50% of all farm related work deaths in America. And those accidents might be collisions with other vehicles or entanglements, which would be getting caught up in a piece of rotating equipment. But 44% of those accidents, almost half, are a result of tractor rollovers. Because of their useful design, tractors are tall and often narrow, causing them to have a very high center of gravity and are inherently top heavy. Now modern tractors have this, a rollover protection structure or ROPS system. Now the ROPS can't prevent a rollover, but they're designed to create a safety zone and when used properly and in combination with wearing a seatbelt, they can be highly effective in protecting the operator in the unfortunate event of a rollover. Now, a rollover can happen unexpectedly and quickly, usually with very little time for the operator to react. So, keeping your ROPS in the upright position, again, combined with wearing a seatbelt, can literally save your life. Now, tractors last a really long time, and the fact is, half of the tractors in the U.S are older models with outdated or non-existent safety features. Now take a look at this file photo from Farm and Dairy. This was an intentional rollover as part of a study and you can see they placed a mannequin in the driver's platform. But without the rollover protection system, it's clear that this driver would have been crushed by the tractor. And sadly, there are stories of people being killed even recently in tractor rollover accidents. So what does that have to do with the front end loader and why do I think the front end loader is potentially the most dangerous attachment? Well, that's because when you raise your front end loader up, you are raising that center of gravity and making the tractor even more top heavy. So I think one of the best safety practices in addition to keeping your ROPS up and keeping your seatbelt on is to never drive with your front end loader raised up high. I've seen people mowing with the front end loader raised up real high, and I would guess that's just to give them better visibility, but all you have to do is hit a dip or a hole, and that tractor is just gonna go right over. Another tendency might be when you're moving material is to keep the bucket up high like this so that it's level at the top and you're utilizing the full capacity of the bucket. But the problem is you've got this up above the hood, and again, you're throwing off that center of gravity. So the best thing to do is to fill the bucket as much as you can, but to keep it as low to the ground without skimming the ground as you can and keep that weight distribution as low as possible. Another really potentially dangerous situation is if you raise your loader with your bucket fully curled, whether you're moving or not. The danger, as you can see, if you don't keep that bucket level or if you don't have a self-leveling bucket, when you raise the loader all the way up, that bucket could potentially drop whatever's in the bucket out onto the operator. And there are several documented cases of, for instance, round bales falling off and crushing the operator or getting impaled by something that falls out of the bucket. So be very careful when raising your bucket to its highest limit. These machines are among the handiest and most versatile tools we can have on our property. And again, I can't imagine not having one, but the bottom line is you need to be careful and focused when operating your tractor and your front end loader. They are a tool to be respected, and even when used properly, they can be dangerous. So remember, seatbelt on, ROPS up, loader down, and stay focused.